3D printing tips that many of you have been asking in the comments section of what you would like to know. Now here's question number four, sanding. A few people ask me, how do you sand your 3D prints to look so smooth when they're painted? Well, there are a few ways. People use spot putty or wood filler. I would recommend using like wood filler to fill in holes, gaps, or anything like that on your prints. And spot putty is also something to fill in the lines and everything and then smooth it out and all this stuff. Bondo spot putty is what it's called, I believe. But here's what I actually do to actually get my smooth prints. Now here are the sandpapers that I use to help me smooth out my prints way more than I would expect. Because my first time I ever sanded, I actually just used 220 grit. And I sat there on my helmet for freaking four hours, sanding it down till it became smooth. But after a little while, I started to learn more and more, and I tested out different sandpapers. The ones that I would recommend to help smooth out the surface, you can use other grits as well, like 120, 150, or even less to smooth out and get rid of most of the lines. What I recommend, and I ran out of it sadly, is 120 grit sandpaper. You can go lower than that to get more rough type sandpaper to get rid of the lines. And then after you're done smoothing out, well, getting rid of the layer lines and everything with the 120 grit or lower type of sandpaper, you go back over the whole print with 220 or 400 grit sandpaper and you smooth it out. It'll get rid of those like super rough areas in a heartbeat. And I got some really smooth prints and they look really, really nice. But yeah, I would use 120 or lower grit sandpaper to be able to get rid of most of the layer lines and use 220 grit after to completely smooth it all out and get rid of everything so that way it's perfectly smooth on the surface.